Hello mathematicians, puzzlers, and other curious people. Today we're going to put some waves on our beach picture. So let's go to geogebra.org and click on the geometry app. Uh, so you'll need to load your picture back up. So I've got mine saved. I'm going to click open, beach, edit. Don't need to save that. I hadn't done anything there. Come on now, it's thinking about... Okay, there we go. Okay, so w when we had left off before, we had put the sun in the sky and an umbrella out on the beach. Uh, we'd put these seashells in one of the earlier activities, but there's something missing. So usually, when you're looking out across the ocean, you can see some waves. So what we're going to do today is put some waves in the ocean. So we're going to do that using what are called sine waves. So they look something like this. Okay, so first of all, what I'd like to direct everyone's attention to is how that's just kind of sitting out in the middle of everything. Well, that's not where we want it. So I'm going to move that up, and I'm going to do that the same way we moved these around. So I'm going to have this sine wave move up by the same amount as the line between the ocean and the beach. So let's see, that was A. So I'm going to change this function here to sine of x plus A. Now I think that wave looks like uh, uh, frighteningly large. So I'm going to add a, a scale factor to reduce that. So I'm going to try 0.25 sine of x. Uh, that's a little low. I'll change it to maybe 0.4. Okay, I like how that looks. Yours might be different from mine and that's fine. Now that's only one wave. So the next thing I'm going to do is uh, copy this same function it'll let me copy. Let's see. Control C. Let's see if this works. There you go. Okay, so now I'm going to take this same function, but I'm going to shift it up by... I'll try 0.5. Okay, and then I'm going to do that again and do plus 1. Okay, so now I've got some waves, but they still don't quite look right. You know, they're, uh, they're so lined up, so I'm going to space them out a little differently. So where this has sine of x, I'm going to leave it alone, but I'm going to say that this will be sine of x minus 1, and what that will do is shift the middle wave a little over to my right. Uh, my right. Minus one. Oh wait, that's the lower wave. Oh, I was typing in that one. No big deal. It, it doesn't really matter as long as they're uh, changed around somehow. Okay, so this is starting to look a little more natural now. I think I'm going to do one more. Uh, okay, that went in as text instead. I'm not sure why. So let's see, 0.4 times sine of x plus, let's see, I'll say plus a plus, hmm, I did 0.5 and 1, so I'll do 1.5, not 15, 1.5. Okay, so now we've got some different waves spaced out on our beach, but some of them are a little difficult to see. So the next thing I'm going to do is fill in some area below these curves, and the tool I'm going to use for that is a little thing from calculus called integration. 
So to help me out, I'm going to make the line between the sand and the beach visible again. Let's see, that was this one right here. It's the one with a y equals a. And I'm going to use that as sort of a, uh, a reference line to help me out with taking integrals. So I'm going to, let's see, uh, hmm, it's hard to see that. Okay, let's see. I know what I'll do. I'll turn the label on for that. Show label. There we go. Okay, so that's line H. That'll help us out. Okay, so now I'm going to scroll down and I'm going to draw an integral. So an integral between uh, two functions. One of my functions is going to be this curve right here. So that's uh, F7. So I'm going to try typing that in as letter F and then the underline button. That's a uh, shift dash and then seven and that goes like so. Okay, so I want it to be between that and H. And then for my starting X value and finishing X value, that's going to be the same as the zero and 15 that we used to start up in the first place. So zero And then for ending x, we'll have 15. And now we can see uh, a wave drawn in place there. Okay, so now we're going to just continue that. So I'm going to highlight that and hit Control C to copy it, and then Control V to paste it. Whoops, didn't copy right, I wonder why. Okay, if it's not gonna let me do it that way, I'll try it the other. So I'm going to use integral between again. Now instead of F7, I'm going to do from G7. So G underscore seven, and everything else is going to just be the same. So my other function is going to be H, and we're going to draw this out between zero and 15. And I'll just do two more for G7 and P7. So let's see, integral between uh, G underscore seven and H and start value of zero and end value of 15 and one more. Uh, wait, why did that come out the same? Oh, I see. I put the same one in twice by mistake. Let's see. Okay, I've done F, G, I need H. Not sure why those are out of order, but it doesn't matter. It just all has to go in eventually. Okay, I see why that was confusing. I'm overloading H here. Okay, no problem. And now they're different. Got it. Okay, let's see. We've got F, G, H. Okay, so then we need for P of seven to do the same thing. So the same procedure. Integral between P underscore seven and line H from zero to 15, and there we have those integrals. So it's a little tricky to see how they are now. So I'm going to go into their settings and I'm going to do some work with their color. So that makes it easier to see the difference. So I'm going to make this the same color to start with as the ocean. So let me see if I can find that one again. Hmm, did I do a custom color for that one? I need to look at it. Let's see.
Okay, that was... Okay, I did do a custom, so that was 80, 90, 255. Okay, so I'm going to come back here to my first integral that I took, and I'm going to go to its settings for color, and I'm going to use that same uh, set of numbers to get the same color, 80, 90, and 255. Okay, now that matches. Now here's where it gets interesting, and I made this one match because it's the one that uh, that is um, reaching down, uh, you know, into the the beach the most. But for the next one, I'm going to do something a little bit different. So for this one, I'm going to use a slightly different blue. And for the next one, I'll use a different blue still. And turn the opacity up a little. And what this is doing is it's layering and mixing the different shades of blue to make it look more uh, more natural with what uh, with what happens, you know, similarly to how waves in a real ocean intersect and intermingle. Now you'll see that right here at the top, we've got a spot where the wave extends above the horizon. That happens. But it's also got the horizon kind of cutting through it, which wouldn't happen because the wave would be in front of the horizon. So that's something that we'll edit when we go to, uh, to work with this uh, in a graphics editing program. And oh no! I just realized my cloud disappeared. How did I not notice that sooner? I might have to put that back in. Anyway, so now I'm going to hide these sign lines. And I'm going to scroll back up and hide H again. And the reason I was looking for that cloud was we can use integrals also to fill in the cloud. But I need to, I guess, redraw my cloud before I can do that. So that's something I need to catch back up on. It's not a big deal. Um, I also want to hide these labels here. So those are on my integrals. So I'm going to come to here, go into settings, and I'm going to uncheck show label. Now what these numbers tell you, by the way, is the area uh, between the, uh, the higher and the lower of the two values. Uh, or the, the two curves or lines that we use to draw this. Okay, so I see some other stuff here that we would need to work with for uh, in layering. If you're doing this using paper and then gluing things down, you won't have to deal with this the same way as as uh, those of us who are doing this technologically are going to have to in a graphics editing program. But I need to fix my cloud, so I'm going to say for now, uh, for now, thank you for watching this video, and I hope you're enjoying it. I am Avrila at Math with Avrila, and for now I'm going to say, calc you later.